Now, is your school's current marking and feedback policy truly cutting edge? So let's consider written feedback. Yes, you know what this is. What about written feed up or written feed forward? Now you may or may not have any idea what these things mean. And I would probably say as a provocation that your pedagogy is out of date. Written feedback you'll know is marking, but what about written feed up or written feed forward? Now let's consider verbal feedback. I know you do this every day in your classroom. My question to you is, what is your methodology that you use time and time again in the classroom? Could you teach it to me? And if so, could I do it in less than 30 seconds with students time and time again to reduce my workload, to add impact to students, not only knowing what they need to do, but how to take action? The last question, let me push you one stage further, non-verbal feedback, non-verbal feed up, and finally, non-verbal feed forward. Now I can reassure you that you're already doing these three types of assessment in your classroom. The challenge is you're not quite sure how to articulate them and bring them into your consciousness. And I would challenge school and college leaders out there one step is to think about how you might go about quality assuring all these nine different processes rather than written marking. Now, if your school still promotes written feedback marking as the gold standard for formative assessment, whilst it's important, it's not the only way to go about things. And I suspect you've got some work to do. I can help take your school pedagogy into the next decade. And one resource I've got for you here is here's how to help identify nine different techniques in your school. Thanks for watching, nice sunny day here in Yorkshire. Look, I've still got a sunflower and it's November.